explanation that leads to the fewest assumptions. Mm -hmm. That is still sufficient to answer the question, but that doesn't sound as exciting as the easiest, simplest explanation is it. Right. So Occam's razor is a very powerful tool. And what razors do is they cut off, they cut out the bullshit. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about them anymore. Well, Newton's flaming laser sword. That sounds very painful. The, yes. The flaming sword sounds awesome. It's, it's, it's incredibly painful. Magnificent actually. If something can't be tested empirically, uh, it's not worth discussing scientifically. Damn. See, now I think if you took that principle and apply, and actually applied it, you would actually not have a great deal of scientific discovery. Because just as we were talking earlier about like speculating and talking about shit that's theoretical and we don't know and, and this and that, there are so many speculative things that, and failures that must come in order to truly discover the reality that is real or the thing about, that is real. I don't know about must, but often do. Often, sure. And as well. And if you don't take the time to ponder the things that seem ridiculous, sure, you're gonna waste some time, but you may not come across those truths that do lie there as well. Sure. And, you know, Philosophy in a nutshell is the study of questions with no answers. And science is, you know, you, 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 you can, in philosophy, you can't, you know, you can't answer those questions. And so um, definitively, there's no objective answer to those questions. That's why it's a debated thing, you know. Um, but I think knowledge jumps back and forth from time to time between philosophy and empirical knowledge, you know, scientific knowledge. Um, and so the, yes, there is a need we have, we use philosophy to stretch our arm out and then we use science to kind of examine what's all over our fingers. Mm -hmm.